Well, good afternoon on February 4th from Snake Mountain Boatworks. A number of people have joined in the conversation on why or why not fiberglass wooden boats. So it's my turn. Here's why not to fiberglass wooden boats. This is a 1968 20 foot Lyman runabout. She's really a beautiful boat, in great shape everywhere except the fiberglassing that was done came up the transom right a ways and wrapped, came up the transom and wrapped around and extended a few inches forward uh, on the bottom planking. The result was that first, the original drain hole that was in this transom was covered over. So water, as you'll see in the clip as we proceed, water simply settled back there, got nice and comfortable and warm, and, and soon had the company of lots of little friends as rot spores began to develop. This boat has been in our possession since September. As you will see in the video, RJ is pulling out soaking wet wood, totally rotted, essentially just completely destroyed. I rest my case, do not fiberglass wooden boats, period, end of story. Keep watching and I think you'll understand why. Uh, RJ, why don't you just, you've been here digging, so why don't... Yep, I pulled the gas tank out and the gas tank mounts because I started poking at this board and realized there was quite a bit of rot in it and it'd be a lot easier to just get to if I pulled that stuff out, so I did. And as I started investigating this board more and more, I noticed it was completely rotten all the way through it. Um, so as I started pulling, removing fasteners and stuff, pieces broke off and chunks and they're all outside of the boat right now, but this is what the board was. And a lot of it's still wet, huh? Yep, there's a lot of moisture in this wood and I mean, there's really nothing left to it. It just crumbled as I was trying to remove it. And you said the, uh, the board going up the side is, on both sides is? They've been uh, fixed with filler or something, but for a little ways up each one, they are really soft. So we sh we should be able to get up to good wood and then cut it out with a fine tool, shouldn't we? Probably up three, four inches. Should be able to cut that and replace that piece in. But we've got this, this side's the same way, correct? Yep. Uh, RJ, can you pull those two exhaust hoses out of the way so we can... This board is actually... Old. Yeah, this is... But it's... It's really all... Once we get to the bottom planking, are we all right? Are the bottom planks all right? The bottom planks, I believe, are all okay. The bottom boards. What I believe is the water had no way to really escape out the back. And water sat in the back here. And that board sucked up all the water which bled through into the transom. So I rest my case for not fiberglassing wooden boats, particularly in the manner that this was fiberglass, wrapping a little fiberglass around the lower edge of a transom onto the bottom planking is just a fool's errand and destined for failure. Thank you so much. We'll be back to you again from Snake Mountain Boatworks. Bye-bye for now.